Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to talk about a list that I found that has A&R contacts. So I want to thank you for joining me today. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I have tons of videos on music business advice, tips, and all kinds of good stuff like that. And I think you'll enjoy it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now, recently I was on the internet searching around for stuff. And I found a list of indie record labels. And it gives all their contact information from email to who the A&R is, to the phone numbers, and some, I think, addresses as well. It's not, not a bad list, and it's pretty long, too, and it's an updated list for 2020, and I think you guys should uh, check it out. Now, why would you want to sign to a label? Well, they're indie labels, so it just depends on what your goals are. If you want to stay independent and try to do everything yourself, that's great, but some artists and bands do want the backing of a label because generally a decent indie label will have the financial backing to really push you they'll have the connections to really get you out there and it's a just a group of business music business savvy people that will be behind you to really give you a good push out there so that is why some of you may want to submit your music to some of these ARs. now let's check out the site it's from a site called musicconnection.com and it is a pdf that you download and you can even print this so it's kind of nice it says annual directory of a r and it's a whole roster of people. It's from, there's tons of different labels. And it's just not a bad list at all. It'll give the address, phone number, email, website. It'll tell you who they're famous for, like different artists and stuff like that. And it'll also give you the ANR name. So it's a real gold mine of information that you can possibly use. If it were me, I'd go through all the lists and whoever had my genre, I'd either give them a call to see if I could send music. And because you always want to send, you don't want to send unsolicited music to people just like that. Always call, always email to get permission first. Most times they won't even look at unsolicited music sent to them because it's just a waste of their time, they feel. So always call, always email, check with the A&R first to see if they're accepting demos at this point or, or just music in general. And if they say yes, then send it to them. Send them your EPK, send them whatever they require. Usually they'll tell you up front. So you can do that. And it's just something extra to hopefully get you out there. And it's a long list. So I hope you check it out, look at it, and tell me what you think down below in the comments. Uh, I hope you like this short video. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Also, look down below in the description, and there's a ton of services, discounts on services, and ebooks, and all stuff music business related down below you can check out. Discounts on services like DistroKid, TuneCore, Bandzoogle, all good stuff like that. So check that out down below, and I will see you next video.